Hey everyone, it's Nicole and today I have a simple like tutorial for you guys and this is for people with blonde hair and light brown hair because this is dyeing your hair with Kool-Aid. So dyeing your hair with Kool-Aid is just an easy way and really cost of, like it's really cheap just to dye your hair with Kool-Aid. No, I'm not dyeing my whole head with Kool-Aid, just dyeing a strand. When you dye your hair with Kool-Aid, it does not damage your hair at all. Dyeing your hair with Kool-Aid will last three, four days, sometimes even a week, depending on how long you will keep the dye in your hair, and it works best for people with blonde hair. The products you will be needing is a brush like this. You could also use a toothbrush that hasn't been used at all, just a clean toothbrush. You will be needing a pack of Kool-Aid, and it needs to be unsweetened, and you can just check right there. And this is blue Kool-Aid. You will be needing a brush like this, a conditioner, and I'm using Aussie's 3-Minute Miracle Conditioner, a small bowl, and some foil, just like cooking foil. And some optional things you may want to consider is some gloves, just latex gloves, because Kool-Aid is staining and it can dye your clothes and dye your skin for like two days. The first thing you want to do is just put your gloves on. The next thing you want to do is take your foil and cut it into a small sheet because once again I'm just doing one strand so just rip a piece of foil off and even this is too big so cut that in half. So you'll need a sheet about this big, about as big as my hand. Alright so taking your bowl just opening your blue Kool-Aid and emptying the package into the bowl. Next thing you'll need is your conditioner. And just put a little bit in. About a tablespoon or a teaspoon, depending on how much of the Kool-Aid packaging you used. And I forgot to mention this in the beginning, you'll just need water, so add a little bit of water, just half a tablespoon. Just kind of measure it with your eye. So you can use a toothpick or I'm just using the end of my brush and you're just going to mix this mixture together and it should turn into this dark blue mixture. I actually need the mixture to be thicker than this so we're going to add more conditioner and just mix that in too. So this is what the mixture looks like just this dark blue. Alright, so the strand I'm doing is a lower part of my hair strand. So I'm just going to move all my hair and you can clip it too. So make sure you have your foil out. And this is all you're going to do. You're going to take your brush and put it into your blue mixture or pink, purple, just whatever color you chose. And just kind of paint it on your hair. I'm painting it all the way to the end of my hair. And now I'm just going to use my fingers and grab a little bit of the mixture. It looks really gross. I'm going to spread this down the hair. Make sure it is evenly spread out too. Now we're going to take our foil and place the hair in. Just kind of blend it. Like glob it up in it and close it once you get all the hair in. You may want to add extra foil on it just to make sure none of it will get on. And yeah, you're going to look silly with this little foil thing in your hair. But it's just to protect it from the other hairs getting blue on them. And you can see this is just what happens if it gets on your fingers. It's just lightly blue. So since my hair is blonde, I will be leaving this mixture on for up to four to six hours. And if your hair is brown, I would say leave it in for about 10 hours. I'm not guaranteeing that this will work for your hair. Everybody's hair will take the color a little bit differently depending on the highlights and lowlights in your hair. And I will just be showing you the results at the end of this video. So, bye guys! Okay, so this is the second part of the Kool-Aid hair tutorial and I'm just going to show you how to take this piece out. So just clip all your hair behind. You don't want it to get in the way. So let's just unravel our 
foil mess. So this is our hair. It looks a mess. So just go to your sink and lightly rinse out the hair. Okay, so I've rinsed out my hair. I'm just going to take a paper towel and dry it off. And if you see color on it, it's okay, don't worry. You're just going to let this piece dry. And once it's dry, you can style it however you would like. And by the way, this piece is still wet. It's just like a little random blue strand in my hair. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Bye!